Hey Misty, so here we have your cookies right here. Um, I assume you got to the point where you can, you know, you can see the picture right here. What what I did is I simply got, went to the gear icon, I made sure that pick pulse is on right there. Then I went here, your photo video. And that's how I got the cookies there. So what I found is the for this particular scene, the if you try to add steam, it's going to be very hard to see simply because steam um, in it, it by its nature, you need a much more dark background for it to be visible. So let's do this for example. So see, so you can kind of see the steam. Let me zoom in. See, so you can kind of see it, but I think it, it'll work a lot better if um, there's just a different, maybe, I mean, yeah, you, okay, okay, this, I think this can work. It's just kind of a very subtle effect. Okay, so now you want to add sparkles. So let's go to here. Let's go to sparkle and particle effects. I already downloaded this one. Okay, now we have the sparkle effects and the steam at the same time. <clears throat> and I believe the way it works right now is you have to down, you, in order for multiple foreground effects to happen, you have to download them within about a 60 second time span or a two minute time span of one another. Otherwise, downloading one will cancel out the other. Um, that's something I'll fix. Um, but for this particular scene, I'm thinking, like, let me let me try to personally add my creative touch. So let's, um, what if we do um, sparkle and particle effects? What if we have a nice sparkle here? What if we do this one? So two flow reveal two. Okay. Okay. And now what if we go to this one, yellow particles? And this, the yellow particles give kind of like a nice bokeh effect, which I think would work better than the steam because it's a very subtle effect, which you can't really see. Okay. Okay, I think that works better. And then, you know, now hold the record button for a couple of seconds. And then when you're happy with the length, just tap and that's it. And then it should appear where the rest of your photos and videos are, right here. Okay. Okay. Ah, I think it's gonna shut off soon. Okay, so you get the idea. So the next thing you wanted to do, put the bowling ball on the bowling socks. So let's try that out. Let's remove all these foreground effects. Okay, so you have the, um, the bowling ball and the bowling socks. Those are both PNG files I have. So that means we have to get some kind of background. Um, so what if we go to AI generated backgrounds Photo preview and neon garage. Okay, let's resize it. Okay, and now what if we? Okay, now go to upload. Upload a new file. So let's upload your socks. Now let's upload the bowling ball. And I got this from a, just a random Google PNG file. So I don't know how you want to position this. But what about something like that? And then what if we add a foreground effect? What if we, I don't know, something like a purple sparkle, something like this? Oh, okay, I see the issue. So right now, um, so it looks like right now you cannot, so that's a bug I have to fix where it looks like you can only do multiple PNGs, but you can't add a foreground effect on top of the PNGs. 
but uh okay let's see what we can do okay so that's an issue i'll fix within like three days but for now uh please that that issue being adding foreground effects on top of two or more existing png elements um another thing i'm working on is uh let's say you have a picture of these socks uh within about seven eight days you'll be able to import a picture and it'll remove the background automatically and make a png file so you can do that all within the app within about eight days um and that's it for now uh, please let me know if there are any questions and if this video helped at all in general.